and in C4 complication starts like hyperpigmentation, eczema and lipodermatosclerosis. Now we are going to discuss CEAP classification of lower extremity disease. This CEAP classification was asked in NEET PG also and it was asked in INI CET also. So what is this CEAP classification? C means clinical manifestations, E means etiological classification, A that's anatomical distribution and P is pathophysiological dysfunction. One by one, C. What is C? So C is clinical manifestations. And these clinical manifestations are graded from grade 0 to 6. So it is graded from grade 0 to 6. This was the question which was asked in NEET PG and INI CET. If it is asymptomatic presentation, we are going to add A. So we write A if it is asymptomatic. And if it is symptomatic presentation, we write S. So, A is used for asymptomatic presentation and S is used for symptomatic presentation, right? Now, see E. E is etiological classification. E, that's etiological classification. So, in etiology, it is going to be mentioned whether it is congenital whether it's primary or secondary. So what we are going to mention, whether it is congenital, it's primary or secondary. Clear? So this is mentioned in etiology or E. After that, A, A is anatomical distribution. So what's A? A is anatomical distribution. So here, you can see that which system is involved? Anatomical distribution. So in this distribution, whether there is only involvement of superficial system, there is involvement of deep system perforators. So there is involvement of one single system. So it is involved alone or it is involved in combination. So in anatomical distribution, whether there is involvement of superficial system, deep involvement of perforators clear so it is involved alone perforators so it is involved alone or in combination so it is involved alone or in combination that is included and p is pathophysiological dysfunction so p this is pathophysiological dysfunction pathophysiologic dysfunction so in this case what we are going to include we are going to include whether there is reflux there is obstruction and it is involved alone means one thing is there or there is combination of both reflux or obstruction so in this whether there is reflux or obstruction there is it's alone or in combination so both are there so this is CEAP classification. One, this classification is asked. And in NEET PG and in INI CET, they ask the grading of clinical manifestations. So see the grading. Now see the clinical manifestations grading. So this is clinical manifestations grading. Okay. First, what is C0? C0 means if there are no visible or palpable sign, so that is C0. So C0 means there is no visible or palpable sign. So here you can see there is no visible or palpable sign, right? Whenever the patients are having telangiectasia or there is presence of reticular veins, this is C1. So in C1, there is presence of telangiectasia or there is presence of reticular veins. So here you can see telangiectasia or reticular veins. So this is C1. This was the question which was asked in NEET PG. They asked about C1. What is included in C1? Clear? 
and C2 is varicose vein. So whenever there is varicose vein, it is C2. If there is edema, it is included in C3. And what was the question in INICET? This was the question in INICET that if there is presence of what lipodermatosclerosis, it is included in C4. Okay. So see here, what is included in C2? So C2 means if there is varicose vein. And if patient is having edema, it is included in C3. So this is, you can see the edema. So it is C3. You have to remember two things, C2, C3, C4, because these are the potential questions easy to remember. C2 is varicose vein. In C3, there is edema. And in C4, complications starts like hyperpigmentation, eczema, and lipodermatosclerosis. C4 is further divided into C4A and C4B. What we include in C4A? In C4A, we are going to include pigmentation. So that's hyperpigmentation. And what else? We are going to include eczema. Eczema and hyperpigmentation is included into C4A. And in C4B, this was the question in INICT, lipodermatosclerosis. With or without white atrophy. So with or without white atrophy, this is included in C4B. And if there is healed ulceration, C5 is, if there is healed ulceration, so this is C5. And whenever there is active ulceration, it is C6. So if there is active ulceration, it is C6. So you have to remember this clinical manifestation grading from C0 to C6. Thank you.